In this video, I'm gonna give you five tips for using Google Analytics. Google Analytics is the most powerful free tool you will ever use for your e-commerce store, but a lot of people don't know how to use it, and the ones that do know how to use it still probably don't know a lot of the tips and tricks on how to get as much profit from their store, and you can do this through Google Analytics. It'll give you all the data you need to know. So let's get started, and let me give you the five, my five best tips for Google Analytics. The first one is to find out where is most your traffic coming from. Very obvious one, but a lot of people don't do this, and we'll dive in deeper into this one. Uh, next is, where's your highest converting traffic coming from? After that, what traffic has the most potential? I'll talk about what I mean here later in this video about that, but a, there's a lot of traffic coming to your website that is just underutilized that you could probably just do a little bit of work and get big returns from. And that's one of the beautiful things about Google Analytics. It tells you this information. Next is, what are your top landing pages? We'll talk about what you can do with your top landing pages, but one of the things is if you're getting a lot of traffic to one page, you can probably increase the conversion rate on that page and it'll pay off big. It'll make you more money for your e-commerce store. Lastly is, what are your top exit pages? And these are the pages where people are leaving and we'll talk about ways to fix that later in this video. So let's get started. Number one, where is most your traffic coming from other than organic and direct? Most of your traffic's probably gonna be coming from direct, people actually typing in your URL, or organic, uh, just regular you know, Google search results. And you can do a little bit of work to increase your organic search, obviously. But other than these two, where is most of your traffic coming from? And the goal from this is to figure out how to increase it. So here's my example. This is actually off my blog for Be Dancewire. And what I realized is, most of my traffic's coming from direct and organic, but other than that, most of my traffic's coming from Facebook, which is interesting. That's not something I fully realized. So what I can do with this data is I can see, huh, most of my traffic's coming from Facebook. How can I increase that traffic? What can I do to capitalize better on that? Why is most of my traffic coming from Facebook? Is there something that I'm doing that I'm not aware of? You know, how can I apply that to other sections of my business? So that's the first thing is to figure out where is most of your traffic coming from? There's the 80-20 principle. 80% of your results come from 20% of the inputs. And in this case, the 80-20 is organic, direct, and Facebook. So that's probably the, the main stuff I'll really wanna focus on. If I wanna increase traffic to my blog, if I can double my Facebook traffic, that's a big deal. If I can double, for instance, I don't know, my traffic from some random source that I only get a few, Twitter for instance, I don't get very much traffic from Twitter. So I'd probably wanna, after seeing this data, I'd wanna focus on how to get more traffic from Facebook. So the next thing is, where is your highest converting traffic coming from? So maybe I'm getting, and this, this isn't the case, but maybe I'm getting a thousand people a month coming from Facebook, but they're not converting. The, but I see that I'm only getting a hundred people a month coming from Twitter, but of those 100 people, 50 of them are converting. Well, I could double my Facebook traffic in this scenario, and it wouldn't mean a lot for my blog, but if I could double my Twitter traffic, that would mean a double, almost a doubling in the increase in conversion. So with your e-commerce store, it's gonna be a little bit different, obviously. Maybe you see, for instance, that all the traffic coming from Instagram is buying, where all your traffic coming from Pinterest isn't buying. So you'd wanna focus your efforts on Pinterest or on Instagram, not on Pinterest. So that's one of the big things. And you know, here you can see once again my uh, my data right here from Google Analytics. And I see that it's the same. Facebook once again is one of the highest converting sources. Now for my blog, what I consider a conversion is someone going from my blog to my actual e-commerce website, bdancer.com. But on bdancewear, I'd consider a conversion someone actually purchasing something. So next up is what traffic has the most potential? Now, what I mean by this is something that you spend a little bit of time on, but you get lots of traffic from. On bdancer.com, that'd be Pinterest for me, uh, because I don't spend any time on Pinterest almost. I spend very, very little time, I guess I should say, but it's probably my fourth or fifth highest, uh, highest amount of traffic that I get from a website, it's my highest referral source. So what that means to me is, you know, if I've only been spending 10 minutes a week on Pinterest and I'm getting, uh, you know, 40 people a day coming from Pinterest to my website, maybe I should take that 10 minutes a day and increase it to an hour a day or maybe just hire someone to do it. And that would probably mean a big result for my website. So more, uh, more of an effort, basically spend a little bit more of an effort on whatever things you see has the most potential things that you're spending a little bit of time on, but it's resulting in lots of traffic for you. 
Next up is what are your top landing pages and how can you increase conversions from this entry point? So for me, I, I have an example here, obviously, and for me uh, on the blog, it's top, top, um, what should I call it? Top dancer, top dance studios in the United States. But on my main website on bdancer.com, I've told this story a hundred times, but what it is, my top landing page, which really surprised me, was this colors page. And it's just a bunch of little swatches. It's a bunch of like color swatches. It had um, just all 200 colors that we offer. Didn't have any products on it, didn't have anything. But this was my number one landing page. So when people came to my website, this was the, site, the page that they were most likely to land on. Now I thought about it, like how can I increase the conversion from this page and actually make people purchase? Because at the time, it, it had a very low conversion rate. Not surprisingly, because people are landing on this page with a bunch of colors and they're like, uh, what am I supposed to do with this? So what I did is I added products to the top of the page and I said, all right, someone searching for something like high waist dance shorts might land on this page. Maybe they're searching for neon yellow high waist dance shorts. And Google says, oh, this page is about dance clothing and it has a swatch of yellow dance shorts or it has a swatch of yellow dance fabric. So what I was able to do was put my product on the top and make it very easy for people to see, oh, okay, I just gotta click here and then I can go buy what I initially came for. In the past, they'd have to go through my navigation. It's really clumsy. So I was able to fix that by tweaking, making some tweaks on the page and increasing the conversion rate. Next up is what are your top exit pages? Now, a lot of your exit pages, a lot of pages that people are leaving from, um, you wanna figure out why are they leaving? Maybe you see that there's a certain page that as soon as people land on it, they just leave. Well, this could mean that maybe there's a mistake on the page. Maybe there's you know something very obvious like the buy button doesn't work or the, the, the image is messed up. So you might wanna go look and fix that. Sometimes it might not be as obvious. Maybe it's a category page that's just not very intuitive. But what you can do from this data is try to figure out how to keep them longer and try to figure out, okay, uh, they're leaving on this page, but what can I do to make it so they stay? And I recommend just going on that page yourself or asking people, what is wrong with this page? How can I increase the conversion rate on that page? How can I increase, make people stay longer on that page? So this is an example of some of my top exit pages. And what I would do is I'd go through these, at least the top 80 per, or the top, uh, top five, four or five, and try to figure out why are people leaving from this? So here's some other ideas on how to use Google Analytics. The first one is, what are your top organic search landing pages? Uh, what are your top converting uh, cities or states? You can actually find the demographics, the actual geolocation uh, stuff on what cities and what states convert the most. And if you find out, for instance, let's say Massachusetts just converts like crazy for you, well, maybe you should start doing campaigns, AdWord campaigns in Massachusetts. Or maybe you should pick up the phone and start calling potential customers in that area. Maybe you could even do like a newsletter, uh, not a newsletter, like a postcard type campaign to places in that area. I mean, once you know this kind of data, you can start narrowing down. Maybe it's Facebook, maybe you wanna do Facebook ads, but just targeting that small little area. Uh, the next thing is mobile versus desktop. How does your site perform on mobile? How does it perform on desktop? Maybe you want to, maybe you see your site does really well on mobile, and maybe you wanna start pushing your mobile AdWords a little bit more Maybe you see it doesn't do that well and you wanna just stick with desktop. Maybe you see potential for improvement. Maybe you see your mobile isn't converting that well. Huh, but maybe you need to spend a little bit of time figuring out why that is. I have a full walkthrough. I think this is probably the most important thing from this video. There's a full walkthrough on how to use Google Analytics down below. I have a link down below. And when you click on that link, it'll it's like a 45 minute video and it shows you step by step. It's totally free. It's just another YouTube video. Step by step how I use Google Analytics, some different tips and tricks. It's actually like a screen recording of me using it. So I highly recommend clicking on that link down below. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click subscribe. I put a lot of work into these videos. I'm gonna have new videos out every week. I'll probably end up doing multiple times a week. So click that subscribe button to get new videos about how you can improve your e-commerce store down there. Also. If you wanna get a little bit of extra stuff, some, some stuff that I have that's uh, hidden, you can click up here, you can get my online store success pack. Totally free, um, just click up there and you can get the information there. It's checklist, it's hidden videos, things like that, things that I don't offer on my YouTube page. Uh, so click up there to get that. And last, if you have any questions on this video, anything that you want me to answer about e-commerce, please leave it in the comments down below. And thank you for watching this video, I appreciate it.
and thank you for watching this video.